Hi there, Cancer. So I'm going to be doing your reading right now, and I'd like to make a note that I also offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. This is a general love reading for Cancer, a you versus them love reading. If the reading resonates, that's great. But if it doesn't, please do not try to make it fit your story. Cancer. 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 Can I get a card for Cancer's person? Six of Wands. Okay. Interesting. Can I get a card for Cancer? Okay, it's the sun. Interesting. So I see fire energy. Leo. Can I get a card for your person? The three of cups in reverse. With the seven of pentacles in reverse. Okay. Um, can I get a card for cancer, please? The tower in reverse, interesting. Can I get a card for your person? A high priestess in reverse with temperance in reverse, okay. That's interesting, I see Sag, okay, Sagittarius. Could be another fire sign. I see earth. I see water. Leo. Can I get a card for cancer? Seven of swords. Okay. Shared mutual feelings. Okay. What's this? Knight of pentacles and the eight of swords. Okay, interesting cards. So your person got the Six of Wands. So this person wants some sort of reconciliation, um, victory uh, in this connection with the Six of Wands. Um, but they also got the Three of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So there could be some uncertainty about whether there can be any sort of reconciliation, okay, between the two of you. Because with the Temperance in reverse and the High Priestess in reverse, I really feel like your person's not able to see the entire picture. They may not be feeling quite balanced here with temperance in reverse and the high priestess in reverse. Because if it was temperance and the high priestess, that would be like someone that's really balanced, really, you know, their intuition is click kicking in. They can see the entire picture, picture, there's clarity here, but it seems like there's something going on with them that they're not feeling quite balanced with temperance in reverse. I feel like this person has a lot of passion towards you with the six of wands, but there's still something that's causing them uncertainty about whether they can have this uh, reconciliation with you with the Three of Cups in reverse, even though that's what they want. You, however, got the Sun card. I feel like you're, you know, this is the happiest card in the deck. I really see positive things heading uh, towards you. You could be really focused on uh, happiness here. You could be in a really good place with the Sun card. I feel like with the Tower in reverse, you could be rebuilding, wanting to rebuild. So or pick up the pieces after this disconnect, right? And with the Seven of Swords, there's a possibility of you, you know, not wanting to walk away, but maybe having to walk away when it comes to this connection. But with the Eight of Swords, someone's really stuck in their head about this connection. They could be feeling like there's a bond, you know, like there's a bond between the two of you with the Eight of Swords. But with the Knight of Pentacles, I really feel like this is talking about slow energy. So something, instead of the, your person being able to rush in, um, you know, that's their desire, right? Wanting to rush in with as the Six of Wands. There could be something, um, things could be moving a lot more slowly here with the Knight of Pentacles. Your person having to be a lot more think things through, having to be methodical here. But let's clarify the Six of Wands in reverse. Maybe they're feeling some sort of imbalance, you know, not balanced enough to rush in. There's something going on here. Let's clarify the Six of Wands for your person's energy. I saw the Emperor with a Three of Cups, so they do want a reconciliation here. You could be dealing with an Aries, you could be dealing with a Taurus. 
Six of Wands. Six of Wands. The sun in reverse. Your person's really unhappy here. Um, They do want to... They're really set on this reconciliation. They're set on this victory. But for some reason, something is not panning out. And it's making them really unhappy with the sun card in reverse. Look at that. It's like... You got the sun in the upright. This your person's really unhappy here with the sun card in reverse. Let's clarify the sun. So this disconnect is really making them unhappy. Let's clarify the sun card on your side. Look at that, the star in reverse. So this could have been you could have been dealing with an Aquarius here, but it seems like the both of you are not together. I feel like whether you may be losing hope when it comes to this connection, you're really focused on staying or maintaining um, positivity and happiness here. But I really feel like your person sees them. It just seems like with the sun card and the star in reverse, this person was really happy with you, okay? But now that both of you are not together, there's some sort of, they're really unhappy here with the sun card in reverse. Let's clarify the Three of Cups in reverse with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So they got the Six of Pentacles. So they want to balance things out in this connection, okay? They want an equal give and take. This could have been a very balanced connection for them. But now I think they're going through something where they're feeling there is a sense of there is no balance. There's no clarity. Um, it just seems like a very volatile energy here with the High Priestess in reverse and Temperance in reverse. The Tower in reverse. Let's clarify the Tower in reverse. There you go, the Ten of Cups. So it's like, I really feel like your person's wanting this reconciliation as well with the Tower in reverse. They could have seen themselves being very happy with you with the Ten of Cups. But I also feel like, regardless, I feel like you're focusing on build, rebuilding, okay, and wanting happiness for yourself too. So it's not like, it's just not your person, it's you as well. Um, regardless if the both of you reconcile right now. Let's clarify the High Priestess in reverse with Temperance in reverse. This seems like your person wants, there you go, like the Four of pentacles so this connection is very near and dear to your person's heart they're really holding on to this connection here but it just seems like they're going through they're feeling kind of volatile or there's just something that's you know they want balance but <laughs> they must be going through something that is with temperance and reverse and the high priestess i just see themselves as being really unhappy with a sun card in reverse. Let's clarify the seven of swords. The knight of wands. So see. It's like someone walked away, but they didn't want to walk away with a seven of swords. Like they have a lot of passion for you with the knight of wands. Okay, so this is a very passionate energy. Um, I see the six of wands. And so I'm assuming that the knight of wands is your person's energy. Wanting to rush in. But for some reason, not being able to. Really uncertain about doing so with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like your person's energy is showing up on your side. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords. Look at that. It's the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. So you're really, your person is really up in their head about things. I really feel like this is your person's energy really stuck in their head there's a lot of anxiety here with the nine of swords and the eight of swords i really feel like your person's not happy something's going on um with them knight of pentacles let's clarify the knight of pentacles Let's do that again. Let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles 
they have a lot of anxiety here. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? Like two of cups. Um, this is a very clear message here. So this person sees you as their, their um, as this is a very special connection that made them really happy. But because the two of you are not together, they're not, they're not feeling great, right? With the sun card in reverse, there's a lot of anxiety. Um, there's something going on, something volatile going on here. So as I'm looking at the cards here, and that's their ultimate goal is to have balance here. Okay, they're really holding on to this connection, but there's something going on in their life here that's really causing some sort of volatile environment, okay, with the high priestess in reverse, temperance in reverse. So it's like something is moving slowly towards you, even though that what they want to do is rush towards you. Um, they have to think things through, and that could be causing them a lot of anxiety here. But I see the two of cups, right? So it is indeed a very special connection. Let's clarify the sun in reverse for your person's energy. One more. Okay, let's clarify the sun in reverse. There you go, the hair font. Oh, it just seems like they see this connection as being a very spiritual connection, okay, with the Hierophant card and the Two of Cups. Um, so what could be preventing this connection? Okay, um, because if someone feels so highly about you, right, and they ha and you bring them a lot of happiness, um, usually I don't like to talk about third party situations, but your person could be unha unhappy in a previous connection, like they could be in another connection and they're not happy in that connection. Um, and that's why they're something is regarding a volatile environment here with temperance in reverse, the high priestess in reverse. It just seems so something. It just seems like two different energies working simultaneously, right? Um, that's, but it's like you made this person happy and right now they're not feeling so great with the sun card in reverse. Let's clarify, and there we go, the two of pentacles. So you have to make a choice here, right? With the two of pentacles. Um, Let's clarify the Two of Pentacles. So you have to make a choice. On what, what best suits you, okay? Either picking up the pieces and just focusing on... There we go. It's like the Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I feel like your person is not really taking any swift action right now, even though that's what they want, okay? Um, because of something. There's some obstacle here with the Eight of Swords. Um, oh, I just sort of jumped. Let's clarify the Star card. Interesting. Let's clarify the Star card in reverse with the Sun. Look at that, it's the Ten of Cups in reverse. So them not being with you is really making them unhappy and they're showing up in your energy here. They feel like they could have this Ten of Cups happy family dynamic with you, but by them not being with you, it's making them really unhappy here. Let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles in reverse with the Six of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse, okay. There we go, Temperance. Look at that. See, there's two simultaneous energies going on here. So I have to look at the cards like this, right? So it's like someone, your person wants victory, okay? Reconciliation with you, but there's something volatile going on beyond this connection here. And see, they, they, they want balance with the Six of Pentacles and Temperance. They, I feel like they feel like they could have a balanced connection and equal give and take with you here. With the Page of Wands, you know, this person has a lot of passion towards you. You spark their interest. You make them feel good, okay? Um, and they're really holding on to this connection with the Four of Pentacles. It's very near and dear to their heart. 
but your person's really uh, feeling stuck. There's something, there's a lot of anxiety here. It's like their hands are tied. So maybe they want to rush in, but something is taking slow, being, is something is slower than expected. It's like it's taking time here with the Knight of Pentacles. Their intention is to head towards you. Seven of Wands in reverse. Clarify the Seven of Wands in reverse. The world in reverse. Yeah, like it's not over for them, right? Something could be draining their energy as well with the Seven of Wands in reverse. Something going on that could be draining their energy. But for them, the world in reverse, it's like it's not over, right? Between the two of you. Let's clarify the Four of Pentacles. The Hangman. You see what I'm saying? It's like this person's really focused on you here. They're trying to look at things from various perspectives. I really feel like there's some sort of stagnant energy or it's just a very slow moving energy. Um, they want to rush in, but something is going on uh, that's not allowing them to do so. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords with a Nine of Swords. Like they feel stuck. It's causing them a lot of anxiety. I can't really uh, make this up. Look at that. The star in reverse and the star in reverse again. Someone's, your person is not really, they're not, they're in an environment that's not, that's causing them a lot of anxiety with the star card in reverse twice. They're really unhappy, okay? Um, something volatile going on in their environment. When all they desire is balance and peace, it seems like, with the Six of Pentacles and Temperance. They're holding on to this connection. It's very near and dear to their heart. They see this connection as being very spiritual. Let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles with the Two of Cups. There you go, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Your person doesn't want anyone to claim you or to... I think they're also worried that you might find someone else with the Nine of Pentacles and yet the Five of Swords in reverse. Your person has a lot of anxiety that you might indeed find someone else with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Um, that worries them, okay? Five of Swords in reverse. They don't want to feel like, you know, they've been betrayed somehow. They just don't want to feel that pain with the Five of Swords in reverse, because specifically with this Five of Swords, right? Um, that's really causing them a lot of anxiety that you possibly finding someone else and moving on here. Um, it's interesting that there's two simultaneous energies going on with your on your person side. I was not expecting that. Um, and the way I read, like I clarified this, then I went from here. It just seems like I was taken to clarify in a very different pattern than I normally do. But it just seems like this person sees himself as being very happy with you, okay? You make this person very happy. They see a balanced connection and equal give and take. Right? This is very, but something is going on in your person's life that's causing them a lot of anxiety. They could be feeling stuck. Okay? Something volatile because I had to put these cards aside. And this is how I'm reading it, right? So I, I see like only good energy here towards you. I don't see anything negative. Someone walking away, not wanting to though. And the world card in reverse start talking about there's no ending. There, like it's not an ending of a cycle. And then I see the Ten of Cups in reverse again. Someone is really unhappy with this disconnect here. Okay, so that's all I can really see. And I'm also picking up on this energy of your person being worried that 
you know, you could be, you could find someone else here with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Um, so that's my reading for you today, Cancer. I hope you got better insight into the situation that you have with your person, and I'll see you next time. Take care now.